Guten Abend, mein Frau und mein Herr. See, I don't just do German, uh, French, I do German as well. It's good, isn't it? It isn't. Um, how are you all? Um, how was your day? You're lucky, actually. I've just had, I had, I had to delay it because it was such a noise because the air sea rescue helicopter came over and it, it lands at Wycliffe, which is probably about 150 yards away from me so it was incredibly noisy so uh, it may well take off during the vlog in which case I shall have to delay slightly um, yeah how are you how was your day it's been overcast again uh, I thought it was supposed the sun was supposed to come out this week but it hasn't yet but there you go plenty of time we've still got two get two days left um, my day was busy um, the meeting I was due to have as I mentioned on Monday, I had a three hour meeting um, scheduled with the States, the US on Monday. That was postponed till today, so we had that today, but it, it only it only lasts about two and a quarter hours. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a productive meeting, so good fun. Tonight I have a committee meeting. Um, also hoping to get a little bit of decking done, but we shall see time-wise. Uh, what else? Oh. So no trips today because there's nothing I need. So uh, expect to see Screwfix going uh, into insolvency over the next few days. I did, unbelievably, I had to put my van in for its MOT. So the mystery machine is three years old because it's just had its first MOT, which it did pass, I hate to add, with no advisories. But three years, can you believe I've had it? Three years, incredible. Um, so yeah, that was that. That was about the excitement of my day. I'll tell you how uninteresting the day was going to be, and this is a true story. You can check it online if you want. Screwfix's deal of the day was a white toilet seat. <laughs> so I think it was twelve ninety nine. So yeah, if you don't believe me, check. But uh, yeah, it was always going to be a pretty mediocre day after that. Uh, what else? Uh, I've had a quick chat with uh, Charlie, uh, Elizabeth's mum. Elizabeth's mum, you know, you remember I said she was going to have some more treatment, so she's had a little bit of that, which went well. Uh, I'll give you a full update tomorrow and maybe a few photos. Um, but uh, hi Liz, hi Charlie, um, hi everyone there, um, hope it's well. Uh, what else have I got to say? I think that's probably about it actually, uh, not too much else. I'm expecting a few photos to come through. Um, I will post them if they come through in time for when I upload later um, and um, I had a chat with Di today who went down to watch Josh practicing his go-karting um, so hi to you guys uh, I spoke to Ziggy I think last night hi Ziggy again um, so yeah I think that's probably about it for today um, I don't think there's too much else uh, jokes du jour. Oh, oh, this should be good, shouldn't they? Uh, a peanut was walking down the street. He was assaulted. <laughs> assaulted. He was assaulted. It wouldn't work, you see, if he was dry roasted, because because being dry roasted is not a criminal offence, whereas being assaulted is. Um, yeah, interesting that, isn't it? I don't know why that is. It does seem a bit discriminatory. But uh, then I'm not a peanut, so I can't really say. Um, let me have a think about my other one. Uh, yeah, I've just uh, I've just been on a ballooning holiday. Uh, I put on four stone. <laughs> I don't really. I think it's just lockdown. Anyway. Have a great day tomorrow, guys, and um, if I've forgotten anything, um, I apologise. Dan Short did ask me to say a quick hello, so hi, Dan. Uh, Dan started working for the uh, Dorset Children's Foundation uh, in their warehouse. Uh, Dorset Children's Foundation, as I say, I, I know very well. I know Patsy Helmet, who, who runs it, um, is a lovely lady, and it's a great charity, and they do so much good work, so well done, Dan. And... Uh, I shall speak to you all tomorrow and be safe.